Alright guys, I'm very excited to make this video right now because I just realized that this GR-B200 Gravity Master watch that we're gonna have look today is actually the first ever Gravity Master that has 4 sensor plus Bluetooth function combined in a single watch. That alone is already special. The reason why it looks the way it is is because it was designed or it was inspired by a helicopter control stick. So I looked it up and I instantly saw the similarities which makes this watch even cooler than it already is. Where a helicopter control stick will have multiple buttons, different texture, different size and different guard as well so you don't have to look at it while you are operating it. Same goes with this watch. Now the three button on the side is the most obvious. This uh, compass access button has a ring shape or ring texture on it, similar to those on the actual thing. And this red accent button, I mean, this this is the most obvious one. I have this altimeter access button. This button is made out of metal, it has different texture. And all of these six button combined actually look like the actual thing. Next is the function that it has. Now, if you look at the helicopter control panel, they have so many things, they have so many gauges. You have your gyrometer, a motor RPM, fuel gauge and everything. And you must have navigation gauge, basically compass. That is why Casio add compass at the home timekeeping. And not to mention, you could use this compass function to indicate or to navigate as well where it will connect to your phone via Bluetooth and use the GPS on your phone basically to navigate without you having to look at the map on your phone all the time just use your watch and it will point to the directions and that is very useful and next gauge that you'll see on a helicopter control panel is elevation you gotta have that you need to know your elevation and that is why Casio add the altimeter buttons over here just press it you know your elevation instantly it uses a atmospheric pressure sensor built inside here so those are the obvious thing that is similar other than that you know if i have to cherry pick the glass half dome shape similar to those on the glass of helicopter and also this watch is made out of carbon which i believe a material used to make helicopter as well for toughness lightweight and efficient and speaking of efficiency the battery on this watch could last for about two years according to Casio website and obviously you have to change the battery from time to time the same way you need to refill your helicopter from time to time as well so I saw that similarities right away this is very very cool and most people will complain about you know not having solar charging you know what helicopter don't have that as well so there's that and plus if you want to change the battery just you know remove these four screws pop this thing back out and just change the battery it is so easy so convenient you could even use a normal tool or even just a knife to open it up you're good to go it, that is why I'm here that's why I'm explaining all of this to you guys why it looks the way it is even though at the back of my head I know that it looks exactly like a Casio Pro Track watch I mean <laughs> do I even have to explain it like, I mean look at the light button placement sensor guard placement two button on this side three button on this side I mean at this point, this is like the uh, G-Shock version of a Casio ProTrack watch. Normally, you only uh, have a massive size G-Shock like this on a premium lineup. So, this one already goes about mid-range level considering the price only costs 46,200 Japanese yen, which is also a thing that most people are complaining about. I know. I totally understand it. it is very expensive so that's why I didn't pay this amount of money I only purchased mine around 320 bucks brand new with all the box and papers JDM version as well so if you want to know how go to the link down in the description box sign up to buy Japan and start looking for yours on Yahoo Japan auctions the good news is last time I checked the price for this color series this exact one in front of you guys right now goes about 290 bucks only in the used market brand new one still the same price point so yeah 
this price is expensive but knows that you don't have to pay this amount of money I mean you basically are able to save like 140 bucks already at all the tax the fees the shipping and everything still didn't even close to this price point over here so I would highly recommend you guys to use buy Japan for that if you are thinking on getting one of this or if you don't like this you could get the modmaster version I have both already so I gotta have one of these as well or even better if you want something more special you could get this GPW 2000 which I only paid 300 bucks even though the retail price goes 800 bucks think about it guys if you're lucky if you're lucky now since I already have this on hand let me show you guys one other thing we are on this GPW 2000 it has different uh, feels to it it feels very very good the premium feels on it is very nice however on this GR-B200 it has the same look but you don't have the same feel that's something that I have to point out it have the bulge over here so you could just clip it every time you wear the watch and that gives the secure feels each time you wear this quite hard to use quite hard to wear but it is also pretty hard to take off as well which is a good thing you don't want to watch that hook I am loose right same goes with this new buckle design it is made out of plastic okay with caster Thailand sign below it and uh, I don't really sure why it looks the way it is but it looks very tools like it looks very tough it looks very rugged if if I'm using this for an outdoor watch and if I fell and trip during you know hiking or track jungle track activity and my wrist got stuck to something this is a weak point that I could try and break and get my hand loose this watch has a screw bar on the side and the casing was made out of carbon there's no way I could break this part this portion of the watch as easily so having a weak point on your watch is actually a safety aspect that you need to have though they do make the buckle on this mode master out of metal so uh, I don't know I'm just trying to make sense out of all of this anyway guys fit is great though again the size is massive so if you have a skinny wrist this watch will yeah it will shows but I'm used to that and I'm planning on uh, modding this to you know trying several things in here just to make it much more fun unless cancer is a much better option later on in the future but right now I'm just gonna have fun wearing this watch for my next hiking trip to replace my mod master just to try it out because so far after comparing this two this is much more comfortable retail price is much cheaper than this and uh, it looks much more sleeker a little bit slimmer than this as well so it's just a matter of design preferences by now though like I already said this one look like like a helicopter control stick whereas this one I don't know what it looked like but it looks rugged but this one has more meanings to it and I love it